You're like me, Tyler. You gotta take your glasses off to see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Nice weld truck here. Yeah, they got all kind of levers in here to pull. Pretty neat. Those are the weld kits, and therefore 132 rail. They make different weld kits for different size rails, so you couldn't put a 120 weld kit in and weld this 132 rail we have. Sweet. iron oxide and aluminum a mixture it's pouring in that crucible and we'll put the molds on and seal them up and get ready to go what are these molds made out of Tyler I don't know what the molds are actually, what it actually is. Not very substantial stuff, but it'll hold the hold the uh, molten metal in there anyway. Yeah. I'd like to know the uh, crazy how them pots get that hot on the inside when you light the thermite, but the but the outside doesn't get hot. It's incredible, isn't it? What is that, about 5,000 degrees in there? Yeah. <laughs> That's hot. At least three. I thought somebody in the past had told me it gets upwards of 5,000. Smitty told me that. Yeah, I'm sure it does. <laughs> and what's that sealer made out of? Sand? The... Yeah, what you're putting on there, that's sand. Oh, that's clay. Clay? Yeah. That's what I thought.
interesting process. It's a, it's a certain temperature, and um, they tell me that they can tell by looking down at the rail how hot it is. So they get to a right temperature, a uh, right color of the rail, then they'll put this uh, crucible on over here and set it off. Pretty neat. Wind's blowing this way, it's nice and warm over here. <laughs> How hot is it, Tyler? Okay. How hot is it? It's about 200 right now. 200. That's, yeah, that's a couple of inches right. back from the, where the well's been. What would you like it to be? It just, really, there's that, that temperature up there. I just check it because if I'm shooting one and I see that one's 500 when I shoot it and one's only 200. Yeah. Something Something's not right. right there, huh? I understand. I'll tell you what, you know your stuff, buddy. But I, I get more off of look than anything because guys find yeah. it and then they look in there and see that it doesn't look like it's ready and they don't go off the time anyway. But you want it to heat for, you want it to heat for at least five minutes. Okay. But uh, it starts melting before that, you have to shoot it, but you don't want that. We're lucky we got you out here today, buddy. This one looks It's showtime. <laughs> I never get tired of seeing that. Ah, that would be so awesome to see at night. There was a video of one of them four on the ground. Yeah, but I wasn't real happy with it. Oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood what you said, Tyler. I misunderstood what you said. Wow, that's bright. Sweet. Didn't take long. Minute and a half.
that's it show's over knock the molds off and start grinding Sweet. You looking for this? Yeah. Sorry I was hiding it from you.
Looking real good. Looking real good. Okay. Okay, well, here we go. This is the final product. Got it all ground and uh, looking pretty doggone good. Got a train coming up here. We're going to run over here. I'll watch it as it runs over, but uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. Shot off four, uh, two welds today. There's the first one. Did. So, I made a video a long time ago about a little bit of thermite welding. It was just a little, little video, and everybody yelled at me because I didn't show the final product. So there you have it. That is the final product. And it looks great. Okay. I uh, I know this is a long video. I've had a lot of people uh, over the time of wanting to see the uh, various processes of the uh, thermite welding. And uh, so I tried to put a bunch of them, little clips together there to show you the entire process and see how that works. This, this will come off over time. That's no big deal. Some guys knock it off with a sledgehammer before they leave, but it's no big deal. It'll come off. All righty. So that's the end of this video, and I thank you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the show today. And if you're a first-time viewer, I hope you'll subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please hit the notification bell. Okay, they had to bump this tie a little bit. Uh, that's why it's a little skewed. They had to bump it off of that. It was a little bit too close to make the weld. That's, so that's why that tie skewed. All righty. Very good. Have a really good day. And happy rails to you. Until we meet again.